Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Maria, your favorite hijabi mama bear. And today we are here to talk about makeup I regret buying. Dun dun dun. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. I hope you stay well. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming back. Welcome, welcome. All right, so today we're talking about makeup that I regret buying and well, there's a decent amount of it. I have to admit that I definitely get FOMO at times and not even FOMO. It's like, no, it's totally FOMO, but I think it's a form of FOMO. Anyways, let me explain. I see something new and I'm like, oh, I've got to have that because that's what's going to complete my collection or that's going to be the perfect thing or whatever. Or I just need it because it's pretty. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, like sometimes I'm just like, oh, that's pretty. I want it. I feel like if I don't get it, I'm going to be missing out on something or like I'm going to not realize that my entire makeup world could be changed if I just buy this one product. And it might sound stupid to some, but I feel like some get what I'm saying too. Like, if you like makeup like I do, I think you might get me. Or I'm just crazy. But let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing is my contour palettes. I, uh, I actually have a few that I do like. I have a Wet n Wild one that's like the contour and the highlight. And then I have the Fenty Trio matte, like the, what is it called? The matte sticks or the con, what, hmm, what are they called? They're called the match sticks. I had to grab them. It was going to make me go insane. <laughs> Fenty match sticks trio. And I really like those. And then I really like my wet and wild one, but I have found, I don't really like contour like palettes. And this one is from Too Faced. I've had it for years. It's actually a part of my project pan this year. And I just don't ever reach for it. And I'm not sure why, but I don't. Like, I like the shades in here. I like how it performs and everything. I just don't ever reach for it. The other one is the Naked Skin Palette from Urban Decay. And here it is right here. This is the powder side. And then if you flip it, this is the liquid side. And it's the same thing. Uh, the cream side, I don't really like how it performs that much. But I am going to try and get to know it a little bit better because I think think when I originally got it, I just wasn't very good at cream products, uh, especially contour. So uh, I think that's part of that. But uh, I just feel like I don't really reach for it. Oh, and that's the baby. One sec. All right. He's doing good, but he is starting to wake up from his nap. So got to wrap this up, even though we just got started. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. So I just really don't reach for it. Uh, it's also in my project pan because I want to um, really like force myself to use these to see if I do like them, if I am going to use them or not. Hopefully I hit pan on them. If not, I need to get them out of my collection, give them to someone, uh, that will use them before they go bad. So that way they don't go to waste. The next thing on my list of regrets, even though I absolutely love this product, I just, it's not a me thing. It's not a me thing is the Fenty lipstick, liquid lipstick in bright ass red. It is in the shade uncensored. I love this lipstick, but let me tell you, I have only worn it probably three or four times because to me, like red is just such a bold lip color. Like I do bold eyes, not necessarily today for me at least, uh, but bold eyes are my thing, but bold lips make me feel uncomfortable. Like I feel like they're too loud. And even though like I tried this on and I loved it and I became a like I was just, I had to have it. I really shouldn't have gotten it because I don't hardly ever use it. It's more of a decoration in my collection. And I am probably going to give this away to one of my cousins who I know will use it like crazy because she loves wearing bold lips. The next ones are actually fairly new and technically I didn't buy them, but technically I did. So they were part of my gift from my husband for my birthday. And I have never gotten these eyeshadow palettes, even though I've wanted them, uh, one of them specifically for a very long time, for years. And then the other one since it released, I never got them because of their price point. And I was like, there's no way that an eyeshadow should cost that much. And some of you are probably already like, I know what this is. I know what brand this is. And you're right. It's Natasha Denona. 
So I got the Sunset and the Sunrise palette and literally I've only had them for, I think it's been two weeks now and I've used them a few times each. And although I do really like them, I still regret choosing them. I literally right here is $200, over $200 of makeup that I could have gotten all sorts of other things with. And although I enjoy them, like I said, I think they're great. I'm actually wearing the Sunset Palette on my eyes today. Here is the Sunset Palette. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, and it performs really well. I just don't think it's worth the price point. It's literally $129 for this one. And this one is a little more reasonable, but still pricey. It's $65 if I remember correctly. And I just feel like I could have used my money better that was supposed to be fun spending money for my birthday. Um, but at the same time, I still want them, but I do regret purchasing them. It's a fun conundrum. And I feel like a lot of people who purchased Natasha Denona feel this way. Tell me down in the comments if any of you feel this way. All right, guys, those are my regrets. Do we have any of the same regrets? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe before you go if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!